what I'm doing today, let me quickly spin around this. Hello, hello everyone. Oh, you know, it's so funny. Uh, we have to wear masks now here at the Genomi Sewing and Learning Center uh, when we're out in the public areas, uh, you know, when we're off to the kitchen or to the washroom or whatever. So I always just have my mask down like this. So I find even when I'm here alone in my classroom, we're allowed to remove our mask, but I walk around all day with it like this. So I always think, of, well, it looks like a beard, <laughs> like I haven't shaved. Uh, although now my beard would be totally white. Uh, but yes, ooh. It's my fabulous Janome mask. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love wearing it all the time. And it's so good because of the um, elastic, adjustable elastic straps around the ear so it doesn't, uh, you know, pull. And uh, But then I can make it nice and snug too. It's got the nose guard here. Uh, make it nice and snug so that way um, it doesn't fog up my glasses. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Uh, but yes, I will remove it now that I'm in my classroom. And again, after a while, it just gets so comfortable. Uh, I kind of forget that I'm wearing it, but lovely. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. So thank you for joining me. Uh, yes, it's Michael Smith from the uh, National Consumer Education Manager of Genome Canada, back from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center. Oh, Amy, hello, hello. How are you? It's great to see you. Yes, yes again, as you. usual, I do these impromptu Facebook Lives where I just think, hey, I'll go live and see who's around and see what's happening. It's, uh, again, a beautiful sunny day here, and I'm scrambling, trying to finish all my... Uh, you know, holiday, Christmas uh, decorating ideas. Um, if you've been following us at Genomi HQ, then a, a number of times that I've mentioned about uh, how we're transforming our office space here at the Genomi Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario. Uh, we're transforming it because we're going to be having our Christmas dinner here on a Thursday already. I can't believe it's already Tuesday. So, oh, and Paige, hello, hello. So, yes, uh, today I am here in my classroom and I am I'm desperately trying to finish some of my, again, holiday decorating ideas and thought, oh, I'll share some of these quick, easy projects and what great gift ideas I think they would be, especially for, you know, sewing friends out there. So let me spin this around and see. Well, certainly a great gift idea. Look at that fabulous Madeira Poly Neon and Iris uh, Polyester Embroidery Thread. That's always a great gift idea. But specifically, I wanted to share with everybody. Now, how about this? Very quick, very easy. I thought it would be a very fun um, decorating ideas for your house, uh, your sewing room. Oh, I'm Marianne Gilmore. Hello, hello. Uh, or again, what a great uh, gift for a sewing buddy. But you know how a lot of times down here, for example, I got lots to share today. <laughs> uh, maybe you've upgraded your machine and you've been left with a variety of feet you no longer can use, feet or accessories you can no longer use with your brand new machine. Or let's say you saw this, you know, old machine at a garage sale and it was too good of a deal to pass up. And maybe you don't use the machine, but you like it because uh, it looks very cool, and then, oh, it comes with all these presser feet. Well, a quick, easy project to do for the holidays. Get a very inexpensive wreath. Uh, this wreath, you know, came from the, the big D store that most of us have in our towns, and, you know, it doesn't look so great up at the store, but, you know, I always take these wreaths, the wired wreaths, and, you know, that you um, play with getting the branches all... Uh, spread out here so it looks a little more natural, it looks a little more full as well. So always play around with it first to make it a little better. And then you take just a very inexpensive little string of lights here and you know you can wrap it all around, add a little pizzazz to it. Uh, this is the, you know, lights, they're just battery operated so very simple and easy to do. And then the big thing is you take all those presser feet that you're not using, or what a great gift idea if you wanted to gift this to a sewing friend. Imagine if you bought all these presser feet for them, or you're going to give, you know, your granddaughter or your daughter or something, their um, your sewing machine. So how about you put all the feet that your sewing machine comes with onto a wreath here, and then present them, hey, you know, here's my old sewing machine, and, and great, you're going to get started in sewing, so here's all the presser feed that go with it. Uh, just I thought it would be a very cute uh, project to do. And very simple, 
take any sort of uh, wire or I had lots of this silver. Uh, it's kind of stretchy, you know, it's like a little elasticy, but it's silver. So I thought, oh, that's great. So that's what I'm using to tie the presser feet and the attachments onto the wreath. But, oh, how about again, these gorgeous Madeira metallic threads? Those would be gorgeous to use, uh, even floral wire, because then it just kind of buries into the wreath or any sort of little decorative cord. I, I save everything. So this is where you can use little scraps of this kind of ribbon floss or, uh, again, even like twist tie is like anything. So very simple, easy to do as you just tie it around like the ankle of the foot here. And then, yes, I can just tie it very Simply onto, you know, any branch already. I've got quite a few uh, things up here. I've got, oh, there's a quilting guide bar that's extra. And then if you've got any, um, again, decorative feet that you are either going to gift to someone or, again, that you had extra and you don't really use. Or even if you use your presser feet, how about just, again, a quick, easy project for the holidays? And again, you fluff it around and refine it but you know how cool is that that can be so quick so easy very fun this big beautiful serger ribbon here the big wired ribbon was created on the serger using the cording foot and i demonstrated how to use there's two different cording feet and this is the one I used, cording foot A, with the little hole there. Uh, and the floral wire just easily goes into that little hole like that. And then you can surge using a rolled hem function on the serger. And pretty much all of our Janome sergers can do that function. So then you can do the narrow rolled hem for your wired ribbon so you can create your own so that's very cool very simple easy to do so this is about the only sewing that you do so there you can make your cute little wired ribbon and then afterward you can again wire it onto your wreath or whatever the project is the uh cording feet are available of course from your fabulous Janome dealer for your serger they'd pretty much fit any of our Janome sergers so that makes it a very quick and easy project as well. And yes, I demoed these feet. Oh, it was Janome's Awesome Accessory Countdown that I did. They're now loaded on the Janome HQ YouTube channel. And I honestly forget. There's so much in my head right now. I forget exactly which one. I think it was maybe episode eight of Janome's Awesome Accessory Countdown that I talked about these cording feet for your serger. And uh, yes, this uh, cording foot here, cording foot A, with the little bullseye there off to the side, is what I use to make this wired ribbon for the reef. So there's quick, easy project that way. And again, other than that reef, uh, no sewing involved. So something else I thought, oh, was kind of fun. Uh, all at the store, again, the, the big D store, very inexpensively, you can get these fabulous big clear ball plastic and you can remove the and and you can fill it with all these sorts of goodies so i thought oh how fun you know as we're decorating our office space here for our holiday dinner which will be on uh thursday this coming thursday uh which would be what the uh what are we the 11th no the 10th <laughs> I'm even losing track of what day. So Thursday, December 10th is our dinner. So I thought, oh, now wouldn't it be fun now for, again, a great gift for your sewing friend or even for yourself or, again, just to even decorate your tree or I thought, oh, this I think I'll put on my place setting at the table because it is so big or you could even decorate it with it. So there is a big plastic ball filled with our pre-wound bobbins. Now you may know... Hopefully you know. If not, you should know about ooh, our fabulous Janome pre-wound bobbins. They come in a package of white or black. But did you know, and again available at any Janome dealer, but did you know that in these fabulous white pre-wound bobbins that are wound on our Janome J bobbin, you can also get, oh look, 108 
isn't that amazing? Now, because I use these all the time, I use these pre-wound bobbins for like 90% of my sewing. So I like getting them in this big box, again, available from your Janome dealer. And already, you can see I've already filled uh, the big ball. So I take the whole little um, sleeve like this and you just... Um, Put it all in the bobbin very simply and easily. Now, if you wanted to, oh, you could mix them in colors, but again, how cool is that? So simple, so easy. And then afterward, you know, if somebody wanted to, to use them, then they just shake them out afterward to use them one by one. So I think, isn't that cool? Or instead of pre-wounds, and then again, you just put this little a uh, stopper back on the top of the bobbin. Very easy like that, and then it can hang from your tree, or again, I think I'm gonna use these uh, on the table uh, in the place settings, I think that's cool. Uh, but instead of actual bobbins that are, are filled, like pre-wounds, ooh, how about these gorgeous ooh, red bobbins, or you know we've got our pink bobbins or our blue bobbins, now we have these gorgeous red bobbins. So for, again, decorating purposes, how about you take one of those clear balls and fill them with your red bobbins, so that'll add a splash of color, or again, could be blue, add a little splash of color, on your table for the, your, um, you know, Christmas dinner, holiday dinner, uh, or uh, more ideas with these big ball. Oh, I'm in love with these, and again, so inexpensive too, because I save everything, <laughs> like literally everything. And if you followed any of my previous posts on Genomi HQ, or you know, I've written several blogs for Genomi Life blog, and I have one uh, called Scrap Busting 101, and there is a video on the Genomi HQ YouTube channel called Scrap Busting 101, and I explain how I uh, manage all my scraps and how I cut them all up and how I store them. So for right now, with all my holiday decorating, I have them all scraps for the fabrics we've been using. I have them all in this big, uh, you know, zip, zip uh, bag, but like scrap, like literally all these little scraps, what do you do with them? So how about you just shove them in this little ball here or this big ball? And it's like, isn't that so simple, so easy to do? I think it looks rather colorful, you know, very cute. So these are the fabrics I use to create our tablescape. So I made a series of table runners and placemats and again, uh, a couple of other little projects, which you'll see uh, on Thursday if you join us. I'll be doing a Facebook Live at 5 o'clock uh, Eastern Time on Thursday, that's uh, December 10th, I'll be doing the big reveal live with uh, Facebook Live, and then later it will be on the uh, Genome HQ Facebook page, you know, to review whenever, and then I will make a video of it for the Genome HQ uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, so you use up all your scraps, and then again, you incorporate your uh, fabrics, your colors, your theme into this. I could now put up on the tree, or again, maybe this I'll put on the, um, you know, side table or I'll put on the table uh, itself. So how cool is that? Again, very simple, very easy to do. Uh, other than the cost of the ball here, which again was only a couple of bucks um, at the discount store, then really this is a no investment uh, project. And again, you can hang that up on the tree or at the table. So that's very cool. Now you can also get these kind of balls, again, very inexpensive plastic, and they open. And then you can fill them and put a little ribbon on and again, hang them from the tree. So of course I think, oh, well, again, with my scraps of fabric, then I can decorate the tree to again, take my color scheme from the table onto the tree. So that helps coordinate the decorating, coordinates the room. Or if for a gift idea, now what if you're going to gift your a uh, sewing friend, a fat quarter of fabric, for example. Well, put the fat quarter in here. If you've got like a secret Santa going on or something, put the fat quarter in there. And doesn't that make it very simple and easy? You don't have to worry about wrapping that fat quarter. And then you can give them this, which then they can put on their tree. And then they can ultimately fill this ball with something else themselves. So very simple to do. 
Now, the the cording that came with these balls, you know, was this kind of jute twine, which is fine, but I thought, oh, that's a little dull. Our uh, accents in our holiday decorating are silver and gold. So I used, again, this same silver elasticy cord. I had tons of it. So I just tied a big bow, and then that's how I'm going to put it on the tree. Or, you know, I could even put it on my uh, ooh, my wreath here. You know, I could incorporate the, the balls into that wreath uh, with the presser feet. Uh, so, again, uh, whatever you want to do, there's lots of options. So I think that's another cool little project. Or, and then instead of that jute twine or that silver cord, you know, this is the yarn that I have been using. Ooh, it's, uh, again, little accents of gold. So I did, ooh, gee, way back, um, I want to say about a month ago, <laughs> I've been working on all these holiday projects so long, uh, that I did a lot of yarn couching with this beautiful yarn. And I have made, they were table runners, but I'm putting them over the backs of the chairs. And I did a Facebook Live, again, it's probably about a month ago. You can go back and search for that, though, on the uh, Genome HQ Facebook page, scroll back, and you'll see that uh, Facebook Live that I did at the time using the free motion couching foot and couching all this yarn down for the back of the um, chairs because, you know, we just have plain uh, gray office chairs. So I thought, oh, I'd like to do something a little different. So there, ooh, these again came from that same Big D store, the same discount store, and they they were labeled table runners, but I said, oh, I'm going to use them across the backs of the chair. So, so I, I used, used the free motion couching foot set and the yarn, oh, if I can find one that I haven't yet done, to show you then, all I did was follow the pattern that's already printed on the fabric. So I didn't have to mark my fabric at all. I just followed all those curly cues around with my yarn. So super simple, super easy. Again, you can go back to review that Facebook Live for more details and more information. And then again, I hope you'll uh, tune in to our Facebook Live uh, Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern for the big reveal. Now, something else I thought was fun, though, with these clear balls, and then, oh, these are all fluted. Doesn't that look beautiful? So you can buy Janome presser feet, you know, here in the blister pack, which is all fine and good. Now, the blister pack, the cardboard part, is very valuable. It's got all the instructions on it. So make sure at least you save this cardboard part. This plastic bit could just be thrown away. But if you want to gift someone a fabulous presser foot like this, each foot is our three-way cording foot. How about using some Madeira metallic thread? And you're going to ooh, just put this through the hole of the ball just to kind of suspend it in there. And then you would put the, you know, the top back on. And then you would hang this at the tree. And then it would be like a treasure hunt to be like, okay, you could gift someone, put this in their stocking, the, the blister pack, the cardboard, put that in their stocking or something. And then it's like, oh, you gave me this piece of cardboard. <laughs> so yes, it's got all the information on the back. So it's like, now you have to go hunt and find the gift, find the three-way gourding foot. So this could already be hidden in the tree somewhere or, you know, hidden in the house somewhere. So I think how fun is that? So they're very cute. And then again, afterward, you can fill these plastic balls full of anything. So that would be very cute too. So, so many ideas. Or with these, ooh, these big ones here, then you can get them in different sizes. So this really big one, how perfect for our ultimate ruffler that will fit the, you know, seven millimeter and five millimeter machines. We tuck that in there and then seal that up. And then again, we could use some of our fancy yarn to make like a big bow and then hang that from the tree. Or again, this could be... Um, you know, maybe positioned on the table or something like that. So it's like that would make a fabulous gift in itself. Or instead of the ruffler, you know, um, I demonstrated the fringe feet. 
And actually, the, the ruffler was part of uh, Janome's awesome accessory countdown. Again, you can go back to the Janome HQ YouTube channel to review all of those. Uh, I demonstrated the fringe foot as part of that Janome's awesome accessory countdown. So in that big clear plastic uh, refillable ball here, I could take out my ultimate ruffler and I could pop in a fringe foot and maybe I could even put some of the scraps of my fabric around it so it would be a little bit more, you know, cushioned, a little bit more colored. Again, you hang a little, uh, you know, ribbon up there and then boom, you're good to go. So a quick, easy, you know, inexpensive gift or certainly makes your gift uh, look more impressive. It's a fun way to, again, you don't have to worry about wrapping it and stuff. So a fun way to gift it to someone. So isn't that cool? So again, so much you can do with all of your fabulous, not only Janome machines, but then yes, your Janome accessories and your presser feet. And uh, again, your Madeira metallic thread. How about filling with these, ooh, with these spools, you know, you fill... You fill this, again, I love these. I can just think of a million things. <laughs> How about you fill this full of all that Madeira metallic, well, it doesn't have to be metallic thread, but just Madeira thread in general, or we've got our iris uh, thread as well, cotton quilting thread or polyester embroidery thread. So if your, you know, sewing friend is new to embroidery, uh, you know, your spouse is new to embroidery, then you think, great, I'll buy a couple of spools of thread and put it in this, a refillable ball, which again, you can hang from the tree or put in their stocking and you know, how cute is that? So uh, you can get all the fabulous Madeira thread or the uh, iris uh, thread from your Janome dealer. Oh, and Sandra Mugman, hello, hello. How are you? Oh, and Evelyn, I haven't seen you forever. I hope you are doing well. Oh, that's great. Thank you for joining me again. This was a very impromptu live, but this is um, one way that I can ensure that I will get this information out there is uh, I'll just go live and, and I'll do it and talk about it. And then I always turn these into um, YouTube videos for the Janome HQ YouTube channel so everybody can go and review uh, later as well. So, yeah. So let me spin around... I know that was fast and furious, but yes. Oh, Evelyn, I love it. Oh, thank you. I know I asked my family for sewing notions. Oh, like the Jadomi Seam Ripper. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's another good thing, too. You know, I thought I'm going to make in one of those really big balls there. Um, oh, things like our Seam Ripper or the, the screwdrivers and the oh needle threaders. You know, these are good. And then we've got, oh, like the little brush, you know. Um, so, uh, tweezers, you can never have in many tweezers. And sure, these come with our Janome uh, sergers, but it's nice to always have extra. So even uh, some of these little, you know, like maintenance ideas or maintenance items, you can never have enough of in your sewing room. So even these, oh, wouldn't that be cute as a little uh, gift? And then you wonder again, oh, how do I wrap all of these kind of stuff? Uh, well, there, just take this really big clear plastic ball and you dump it all in there uh, or then I love these ones so long as it will fit through uh, the little opening there then you could put uh, you know your um, needle threader and all of that uh, in there so long as it'll fit so I think yeah it's very cool or especially with the Janome bobbins pre-wound bobbins you can never have enough of them so isn't that cool so it could be a decorating item a functional item and then this way you never have to worry about oh that you know cardboard box you know falling and whatever you've got this plastic uh ball to keep at your sewing table so that's cool or again we all have scraps so that's a good way to use your scraps so why not <laughs> and carry on your uh, holiday decorating all throughout your house so i think that's cute so, yes, just a couple of ideas there. Again, you can visit your fabulous Janome dealer for things like, oh, those pre-wound bobbins and these beautiful new red bobbins to go for the season. Yes, you can get those from your Janome dealer. And then, oh, things like the cording feet for your serger to do that wired ribbon. Uh, this I had done a Facebook Live oh, a few weeks ago that I embroidered. This is a hat I already purchased, again, from that Big D store. I love shopping it. 
and the the hat I purchased, but then I embroidered Hermie on it after you know the elf who wanted to be a dentist <laughs> from uh, Rudolph's that animated series from the the sixties. I totally identified with Hermie, not really fitting in. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'll be Hermie this year, and then yes, I added a little fancy red bobbin on the end of this little cap. So how cute is that? So these red bobbins you can get from your fabulous Janome dealer and uh, goodies, of course, like your Oh, ruffler foot, one of my favorite accessories, and things like the fringe beach, you know, all of that. So you can double check with your Janome dealer. And thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Again, uh, stay tuned for our big reveal on Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern at Janome HQ Facebook Live to see all of these decorating ideas put into place. But if you can't join us live, again, it will be a video on the Genome HQ uh, YouTube channel a few days afterward. And then, uh, yes, hopefully you'll join me tomorrow for another Genome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour at 1 p.m. Eastern on the Genome HQ Instagram page that uh, I'm really trying to do both platforms. I know not everybody's got both, but ultimately those Janome uh, Magical Machine Mystery Tour, like Instagram Lives, uh, become a video on the Janome HQ YouTube channel as well. So uh, in a couple of days. <laughs> so hopefully I'll see you live tomorrow, Wednesday at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern. If not, then look for it for the Janome HQ uh, YouTube channel. Oh, and Shane is here. Hello. Just in time for me to say goodbye, but you can go back and review this. It'll be on the Janome HQ uh, Facebook page, and eventually it will be a video as well. So lovely. Oh, thank you, Sandra. I will look for you tomorrow as well. I always love to see you all. Thank you all for sharing the Janome love, and I will see you all later. Have a fabulous day. Bye.